In this video, I will show you how to configure Slicer. Slicer is used for the translation of 3D STL files into G-code. If you haven't already, open up Repetier Host Mac and head over to the Slicer tab. Then click Configure. Before you do anything, head over to Slicer in the top left hand corner of your screen and click Preferences. Your mode needs to be Expert. Go on over to the Printer Settings tab and change your bed size to 230 millimeters and 270 millimeters. Your print center needs to be half of your bed size, so your X will be 115 millimeters and your Y will be 135 millimeters. Go on down until you find extruders. If you have the dual extruder Leapfrog Creator Printer, then you need to change this number to 2. If you only have a single extruder, leave this number at 1. Go on over to Extruder 1 and set the nozzle diameter to 0.35 millimeters. And do the same for Extruder 2. Save these settings as default. Go to Filament Settings, and then go to Cooling on the left hand side. Make sure that the Cooling tab is checked. Go back to Filament on the left hand menu. Change the first layer to 230 degrees Celsius, and other layers to 230 degrees Celsius. We're going to save two files here. The first one you're going to save as ABS. Now go back over to extruder and change first and other layers to 210 degrees Celsius. And save this. Go to the Print Settings tab. Your layer height should be 0.2. The lower the value of the layer height, the smoother your print will be, but it takes longer. 0.2 millimeters is standard. Set your first layer height to 0.35 millimeters. Go to Infill on the left and set your fill density to 0.2. Your fill density is a value between 0 and 1. 0 is hollow and 1 is solid. If you're planning on doing any work on your print after you're done, such as drilling holes in it, you should probably set this density to a higher value. 0.2 is standard. You also need to change your fill pattern to rectilinear. Now go back to the left and click on the support material tab. If you want Slicer to generate support material automatically, click the support material box. Set the overhang threshold to 60. The overhang threshold is the angle of overhang in which Slicer adds support. Go to the left menu and click on multiple extruders. Set support material extruder to 2. Save the settings as default. 